everybody, Laura here. So I have a art project piece that I'm creating for you today, and this is going to be another pick five um, piece that I'm creating. So I hope that you guys are enjoying these pick five. I mean, I really enjoy doing them. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying them, um, so that I can. I mean, I'm still going to create them, but I just would really like to know, hopefully, that you guys are enjoying them as much as I am creating them. Uh, so, my pick five items were use Distress Oxide, use three stamps, use book paper, use glass bead gel, and um, I'm not sure. I forgot. I'll let you know in a second, and it went by me too fast before I saw what all it said. Um, hopefully you guys, maybe it's all those. So I'm starting off using my Distress Oxides, and I use Cracked Pistachio, Fossilized Amber, Picked Raspberry, and I believe Twisted Citron. And I'm just using the Distress, Distress Oxides to create my background. And I really love these inks. Um, I don't worry so much about oxidizing them if they do um, when I add water if they do have that oxide look with them that creates more of that like gray tone um, I'm okay with that but I do really just like the look of them in general with them looking more kind of like a chalk or like pastel look um, without feeling like the chalk um, doesn't have the chalk texture so I really do enjoy playing with these, and I really love the bright colors. Um, well, I guess it doesn't make sense to say pastel and then bright, but I mean, they really are. So, uh, But those are my favorite colors to use is more of like the mint teals, pinks, yellows, greens. I really like those colors together. So I just um, use the oxides to create the background. And then I'm going to be taking a piece of dictionary paper and I'm going to tear it apart and place it in various areas around the page. Again, with the pick five, I don't know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. I mean, I'm just, it's kind of like playing. You just get in there and create. So um, I really enjoy doing that. So the three stamps. I'm going to be using, first I'm using the Tim Holtz Crazy Bird stamps, and I've decided I'm going to stamp those onto um, the book paper, but because uh, I really wanted them to stand out from behind, or from the background, and I'm going, but first I'm going to stick down the book paper um, onto the piece using my decor matte medium and this um, art basics silicone one inch brush type of tool here I um, do really like this silicone because I have ruined so many brushes just using um, my regular paint brushes with like glues and matte mediums and stuff so um, I really do enjoy using the silicone brush. I wanted to get the two inch brush for whenever I do bigger pieces, but um, so far I just have the one inch. So I decided um, that I wanted to stamp my birds out onto the tissue paper first and then stick them onto the book paper. I'm really not sure why I did that, but um, in the in the moment when I was doing it I guess I had a good reason why because it would have stamped just fine on top of the book text and they would have stand stood out from the background being on the dictionary paper but for whatever reason I did stamp them out on the tissue paper so um, I'm just using some water on a paintbrush to go around them it makes it a lot easier to tear them out from the tissue paper and um, allows you to get pretty close, you know, fairly close to the image without taking a chance of ripping it. And I just wanted to say really quickly, um, I have realized in my videos that there's 
kind of like this humming sound or something that's going on when I do my voiceovers. And I'm not too sure what it is. I have um, my, um, I have uh, nothing going on. Like the heaters aren't, like there's no heater, there's no fan. So I'm not sure what the humming or the what's going on with the noise in the background. So I apologize about that. I don't know if it drives anyone else crazy, but it's driving me crazy. So um, I will be investing in a microphone soon, and hopefully that will possibly help. I don't know if it's um, because I'm doing my voiceover at my desktop computer, and so I don't know if it's maybe like a hum that's coming from inside of the computer or what the case is, I've just noticed that since I've done my voiceovers on my desktop, um, that it is on there. And so hopefully I will get that fixed really soon. So if it is bothering anybody, I do apologize for that. So to continue on with the piece, um, it said use three stamps. So another stamp that I decided to use was this kind of like background stamp that looks a little bit like chicken wire. And I stamped that with the picked raspberry distress oxide. And then I have this other stamp set that have these little shapes and these really cool geometrics. There's like circles and triangles and diamonds. And um, they're just really neat looking. And so I take a couple of those and stamp them with the cracked pistachio. <clears throat> and just add that some texture into the background. So here I'm going to be using the glass gel and I have this um, glass bead gel from Golden and I haven't really ever used the glass bead gel honestly I picked that up I found a bag at a thrift store one day and it was just like a bag of random crafty stuff and that bottle of that big bottle of um, glass bead gel was in there so um, but I haven't ever used it and so I wasn't really sure what to do with it necessarily. I tried mixing it with some inks because I'd seen a video by Bella Rose Creative where she was doing different techniques with the glass bead gel, but the ink really wasn't working. So I decided to add some black India ink and I'm just going to place it in a few areas on the page um, just to kind of ground my birds and then add it in other areas. And um, once it dried, I mean, I do like the texture of it. I feel as though maybe it was a little too dark. Maybe I should have tried to, um, I don't know, maybe add it with something that wasn't. Because the India ink is very, very vibrant and very, you know, opaque. So, um, but it turned out looking nice. And I do like the texture of it. So, okay. And, oh, add stickers was my fifth. Um, pick five. So I'm just going to take these stickers and I apologize I don't know which ones they're from but they're um, some stickers and I just picked out the one that had the speech bubble that said hello so it was like the bird was saying hello to the other bird. And I do believe, oh I do choose out some of the Tim Holtz small talk stickers and add those to the page and then I go around that with my little gel pen. And I believe that will uh, finish up the project. So, and I've added some photos at the end. Uh, so I hope you all have enjoyed this. And be sure to let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying these pick fives. And I will talk to you later. Bye.